Blessed with the quickness of a covered cornerback and the size of a strong side linebacker, this hard-hitting defensive back from the Miami Hurricanes was drafted by the Redskins in the first round of the 2004 NFL Draft. These are some of the comments made by the scouts. As an athlete who will not yield an inch of ground, he shows the toughness to anchor against the run. If needed, he will willingly come up to the line of scrimmage and force the play to the inside defenders, sometimes sacrificing his body to the bigger rushing offensive line. Or making his full-scale assault on the quarterback in the backfield. Blessed with tremendous quickness, he has the agility, burst, and speed to recover quickly from errors and double moves. When the ball is in the air, he utilizes above average athletic ability. Indicated by Miami, they'll send four. Grossman back, and that one's almost picked off, knocked away by Sean Taylor. Well, just look at the body language of these Florida receivers. I mean, it's been a frustrating. Burke is the deep man. High pass from center, but he gets the kick away, and it's a dandy. Burke all the way back to the 33, and he just gets smacked. High and left. Ricks, nice play fake. Chris comes up throwing. Intercepted. Sean Taylor. He got over there and got it. He, he had a long way to go. He did. I thought it was going to be the corner that was going to have a play on Tried the Tried to get double tight ends and 10 guys near the line of scrimmage defensively. And Taylor just gets over and makes a play. First down, Seminole. Rick's broken play. He's going to keep it around the end. And he takes another wicked hit, this one from Sean Taylor. Third down and 11. Rick's down the middle. In and out and then caught. They call it incomplete. Looked like a catch, they say no. P.K. Sam bobbled it, looked like he caught it, then got whacked. Oh, a huge hit. And the Miami coaches are off the sideline saying, are you kidding me? Let's take another look. It's a great throw by Ricks. Tremendous throw. Oh, boy. I don't know. Uh. I don't know. It looked like he had possession against his body. I'd agree with you, partner. Looked like he took a step before he took a Go Parrish, a Santana Moss-like, exciting receiver, kick returner, away to the zone 15. High snap. Nice job of pulling it down and getting it out of there. Short kick, 37 yards. Returnable on the reverse. sophomore from Gulliver Prep right here in Miami. So you're waiting for all those Heisman hopefuls to get on the field. They'll put points on the board in special teams. Number one, Miami leads 7 nothing early. Hasn't even been on the field. They set this up perfectly. All the momentum. Pittsburgh's excited. Look at the change in direction there. Pittsburgh now has three guys. But look at the convoy of blockers from Miami. And Sean Taylor at safety sets that up perfectly to take that all the way into the end zone as the blockers leave. Few teams can maintain. From the 41, they fake it in the belly. Rutherford loaded up long for Fitzgerald. Couldn't make the play in the air that time with Sean Taylor. Step for step. That's the free safety back there. Well, Taylor's got size, too, so he's not only athletic, he's been making yeah. plays all night tonight. Sean Taylor, you know, he, he's six foot three. As you said before, and 220 pounds, that's a big safety. But the thing I like about him the most, he seems to have a sixth sense of moving quickly to the ball with good makeup speed. That's eight-yard reception by Cullen Winslow. Four plays over 40 yards through the air, and now Coburn gets wrapped up by Sean Taylor. And this is where West Virginia can find itself in a hole down two touchdowns in the fourth quarter with this. Brown, it could be a problem. 363 rushing yards. There's a pick. Sean Taylor seals the win. 
and he is off to the races. McQuella Henderson making the stop, but Miami, the number one team in the country. Behind a two, tight end set again, going down for a loss, but he broke a couple of would-be tackles, and he still lost four. Six. Sun's trying to peep through the showers. Randall on the option keeper into the secondary, and loose ball. hit by Sean Taylor. If he breaks one tackle, he's gone. Sean Taylor just knocks it loose. At the one. Here's Suggs to the end zone. No! The fake. First down and Sean Taylor touchdown. 47 yards. One, uh, one guy will catch your eye. That's that big free safety, Sean Taylor, at 6'3", 220. These people like to leave their fingerprints on you. From the 15, first down, Miami leading 7 to nothing, And Crenshaw rolls to the right. Looking for help. Gets it off. Dead downfield. Fight for position. And it is intercepted on the rebound by Sean Taylor. Chris Vance downfield under the ball. Two defenders against him. It bounced off one and into the arms of Taylor. Gretzel wanted to go to his big play receiver, Michael Jenkins, but Jenkins was totally shut out. Watch as he rolls out to the right after the fake. To the outside there, you see Jenkins is double teamed. Then the pressure by Antrell Roll and the big hit by Andrew Williams. That makes this ball flutter. Jennings is back there fighting with Chris Vance, and that's an outstanding play by Sean Taylor. His third interception of the year, and what an athletic move to pick up the deflection. Here he is, watch him stop, and have to reach way back for it. He comes to a complete stop. If the ball's out in front, perhaps Vance gets by Sharp and into the end zone, as it is first and goal. You're right, he wasn't that. Frenzel keeps it. Throws it to the end zone, and it is picked off. Picked off by Sean Taylor. He threw it right to him. He had double coverage on his end. Krenzel trying to force this one. Great read by Taylor as he comes back to take the ball away from Hartsock. So it's first down for the Buckeyes. Just outside the 12, Krenzel steps in the middle, throws to the end zone. No. Intended again for Jenkins, covered by Taylor. Again, it's that matchup that Miami wants. Sean Taylor, who's normally a safety, but has cornerback skills, will come over from his safety spot here, take Jenkins man for man, and prevent Krenzel from having a good angle to squeeze this one in. No place for Krenzel to throw it, because 26, Taylor, had the inside. Over the middle. He came off the field. Here goes uh, Crenzo. He's at the five-yard line, and he is hammered. He took a wicked shot to the head, and he went down hard on his back. Taylor and Vilma hit him. They must score a touchdown to stay alive in the overtime. Crenzo sees a little hole. Now he slides out. Now he throws, and it's incomplete. Taylor. Knocked it away from Hartsuck. Taylor's having an unbelievable night tonight. He's got two interceptions, 11 tackles. <laughs> you wouldn't want to be out there trying to defend here without him in the mix. With all your padding in your helmet, too. Boy, we need him. Pound it in the middle. It's short. A short kick this time. <laughs> Very enough. short. And kicking it that deep again. Fielded at the 17. Sean Taylor. Taylor trying to weave his way through some traffic. Still on his feet. He's got great strength. Here's Sean Taylor in the open field. And now Hill's the man to beat again. All the way to the 15-yard line. It's a kickoff return party in Miami. 
67 yards. This is the free safety, one of the best in the country. Sean Taylor was a running back and defensive back at Gulliver High School here in Miami. Scored 44 touchdowns his senior year. He knows what to do with it when he gets it under his arm. Does he ever snap? On the ground they go again. This time it's Faison. Faison didn't get to the first down marker courtesy of Sean Taylor. The big safety who wouldn't let him get there. Two seasons ago, the Miami defense, led by a safety as good as there is in Sean Taylor. Tonight, those stars on display in South Florida in their careers. Pressure on, Marshall got out of his hands. Loss of two as Steve Alston was lucky to hang on. Sean Taylor hit him and hit him hard. They need to buy time for the length of throw. That's uh, halfway down the field, it's up in the air, and it's intercepted by Sean Taylor, who goes down and shows the relief for the Canes as Miami has survived barely. Fire to the play. And this one's blocked. Miami blocks the kick, scoops it up, Sean Taylor at the 14-yard line. Tell you what, Florida State would like to have that first punt back, wouldn't they? Sure would. Spot to play from, though. It's Ricks on a quarterback draw, and he's buried at the one. Sean Taylor from the secondary. Receiver group, and he'll give it off to Greg Jones. And Jones is swarmed under Sean Taylor always around the ball yeah. and it's a loss of four that run game that was there against Miami last year is nothing this year Ricks from the gun deep down the middle yeah. overshot his man it's intercepted and it's Sean Taylor making another big play Greg Jones has seven yards on six carries he'd been negative yardage until there now it's Ricks Going up for Thorpe, and it's intercepted near midfield. Sean Taylor's got another one. Who else? Taylor, weaving his way back inside the 20. He might score. Taylor, touchdown! 48 yards, Sean Taylor for the score. You just saw the best free safety in America right there pick off a throw that shouldn't have been made. He and Stu Schweigert at Purdue, I think none of us would argue they're the two best around. And this guy, he'll not only hit you, he's got great wheels, and he showed it on that weaving run for the touchdown. Now it's all Miami. When Florida State had hoped they could get something out of this offensive drive. Sean Taylor with the interception has made it 19 to nothing. That's his sixth interception of the year, his second return for a touchdown. The day. Ricks has a man open. Got him. No. Oh, he dropped it. Robinson dropped it. He got hit at about the five, and the ball squirted out. Somebody's got to make a play. Now he goes straight down the field. He's wide open. Guess who makes the hit to make sure he doesn't catch it? I think I think they all are looking for Sean Taylor. I there think they've he was. seen. I've seen. I think they've seen what he has done in the past, and they, they're kind of getting a little uh, light-footed. Goal at the Canes four. Jones again. Up the middle. Maybe got to the two, and then he got planted. Vilma is there. So Last chance for Florida State on fourth and two. Chris Ricks trying to buy himself some time. Lofts it out for Crafonzo Thorpe. Broken up by Sean Taylor. How many times have we said that today? So Miami will take over. If you have one game ball, do you give it to Sean Taylor or do you give it to special teams? I'll tell you what, special teams, sure, but Sean Taylor was phenomenal today. You got, you got to give Sean Taylor a, a game ball. Gains in that familiar press coverage with the corners up tight on the line of scrimmage. Clausen reads it. Pulls back. Got one on one down the sideline. Goes over the top. Incomplete. And James Banks. The one-time quarterback covered by Sean Taylor. Clausen read the coverage, had what he wanted, went down the sideline one on one, but it was incomplete. And now we will see if Colquitt first down at 10 and now Clausen. 
changing things up. He has four wide. He'll empty the backfield out. Troy Fleming goes out. Wants to throw the screen in that direction. Got a block on the corner. And out to the 39-yard line, Derek Tinsley, defended by John. Those Miami DBs. So tough to shake free of historically. Lawson identifies, keeps an eye on the safety. Throws to the right, buys time, and throws at the first down mark. Taylor came up and tried to char the ball loose from big Victor McClure. You do not see Victor McClure <laughs> catch a pass for, for Miami. Their mission is to control this wideout with an aggressive defense that loves to make statements. Tonight, the Panthers take on the Hurricanes with the Big East Championship on the line. Well, here comes Taylor, the all-everything safety. I know some of the fellows who great players have him at the very top of the list here. And I agree, one of the best players in college football. He's got the full package, an opposing guy. I mean, he's big safety out there. It's like a brick wall as a safety, too. You run at him, you don't go through him. And he reads plays, runs and passes, as well as any safety since Ed Reed. Remember, Ed Reed used to do that very well for Miami. I think he's going to impact player in the NFL. The team in Fitzgerald. Antro Ray, one of the best cover corners in the country, is all over Fitzgerald. And Sean Taylor up on the run that time. Well, earlier, remember now? We asked you the Affleck trivia question. It was the same right there. Rutherford goes back, steps up, fires middle. Intercepted. Sean Taylor. So Sean Taylor picked him up that time, and number 26 makes the pick and shows you why he's the number one safety in the country and a leading candidate for the Bednarik Award given to the best defensive player of the year. There's Taylor right over there to the outside. They bracketed him. Sean Taylor, Red Rutherford, watch him beat him to the spot. Fitzgerald comes across, ball's thrown a little bit too far, but Sean Taylor's about as good as there is at safety as when that ball gets in his area, he grabs it. That's his seventh interception of the year. He, le he leads the Big East. Yeah, that's, Gary, that's number eight. He oh, I'm sorry, in. yeah, came in with seven, you're right. And uh, three of them he taken back for touchdowns. They have on the football team here. Rutherford, got a little time. First and 10 for 13 Guess yards. Who? Just Guess who? Sean Taylor unloaded. <laughs> you know, he returned interceptions for touchdowns, punts for touchdowns. He's blocked punts. He's made tackles like that in the secondary. He's made tackles on the running plays. He, as we showed in the first animation, he, he reads plays quickly. He's as good as you've seen in college football. Has in sacks tonight and two interceptions as Rutherford back to throw again. There's the third interception, and Mr. Taylor has a pair of them on the night. Boy, he break on that Sean football. Taylor came so fast. The 6'3 junior from Miami incident, we got a call from New York that Kenny Easley was the safety who was oh, yeah. drafted the highest by the NFL. He was picked number two out of UCLA by Seattle. Roy Williams went three to Dallas. I think he's got the right side of the screen way up to the top right there. Watch him break on this football. I mean, that, uh, that is what you look for. Guy who can play safety and be comfortable with the ball in the air, and you're going to try to lateral it at the end of the game, too. Nine interceptions. Corners. Sean Taylor and Mo Sykes, the safeties, and Taylor might be, in my opinion, the best defensive player in the country. Now it's maybe going to be twice a year, maybe more. Who knows? First down, Rick's under some pressure. Chris goes out and throws oh. long. Took a big hit and threw it to Sean Taylor. Interception. We told you he was a good one. He shows you why right there. Most in the nation now with that 10th pick of the year. Changing things up. Going to have to hurry. They'll keep it on the ground. And... Hard to run against this group for a couple of reasons, mostly because they have so much speed, they just track you down. Stringing it out. There's the two safeties. Taylor, the big fella that's already got an interception in this ball game. Both those guys will be, gra no, I'm, I shouldn't say that. Sykes will be graduating. He's a fifth-year senior. There's been a lot of talk of Sean Taylor maybe deciding that uh, this, this might be his last season. Get another chance. He hopes so. 
Chris Ricks, little option. Pitching an option. Ricks with flags down, flares it out to Booker. Booker dancing around, and that doesn't get him much, except dropped by Sean Taylor. Quick drop, Ricks flips it out. Incomplete intended for P.K. Sand. The celebration is about to begin for Miami. Here's another look. That pass could have been in a better spot. He just couldn't hold it because Roll got his shoulder in there and helped to pop it out.